here's what's happened so far. In the aftermath of the Lord of Shadows' cataclysmic rise to power, Eric awakens in an unfamiliar cell. Despite being somewhat suspicious of Elijah, the sweet-natured slime he finds there, he has soon joined forces with him in an attempt to escape. Having sprung themselves, they happen across a huge horde of monsters, which causes Eric to lose heart a little. He Elijah tries to encourage him with some words about his sister, but how does the slippery slime even know who she is? Pushing the oddness aside, the pair go back to business of their great escape. How's it going everyone? It's your boy LF Jake, episode 25 of Dragon Quest XI. And we are on our way out of this mysterious cave. I think the weirdest thing is, we've literally got no idea where we are. This cave could be underneath Heliodor, it could be underneath Hotto. He could literally be with Jade in Octagonia. Like, we don't know anything. It could be in a new area that we've never seen before. We were just we just woke up in a cave with a slime who seems very nice. Who knows a little bit too much about Eric. Um, yeah, let's grab this. I don't know if I want to go... No, the, that leads back to the save point. We don't want to go that way. Excuse me, thank you very much. Let me just grab this. Superior medicine, very nice. Oh. I hope this isn't as mazy as it seems. And it's just a one way sort of system. Oh, looks like this is the end of it though, perhaps. It's another one of these thingamies. Hmm. But this one's not working. Let's see what's going on with it, shall we? Don't worry, it's not broken. With a little bit of my extra special magic, it'll be all systems go in no slime. Well, it might take a minute or two. Just wait there, okay? <laughs> up with us. Can you shake a tentacle and get that thing moving? I'm trying, I'm trying. I can't go any faster. Please just hold them off for a little while, will you? Can I just stand here and wait? Here. Oh. Let's be having you. Um, Boulder Bringer um, against this guy, I guess. I should be able to kill the goblins in one hit or two. So for a slain slash. Always getting angry. Normal attacks do more damage. He's still alive. Oh my gosh. Oh, Elijah. Thank you. Oh, I should have attacked the Prophesaurus. I was actually worried about this fight, but now I know Elijah's going to heal me. I don't feel too bad. Think you can beat me? Think again. Good job. Nice, fully healed me. Let's go. Get these guys next. I think we'll do the same tactic. What 
Watch out! In fact, I'm probably better off doing it against this guy, right? If he's not going to kill him in one turn. One goblin dies, and then I finish off the other one, oh, but not before he hits me. And then, is Halaja going to heal me? Right now? Love it. Took a risk there. I say I took a risk, I've got no way to heal myself. Not really a risk taking if I have no other option. It's over. Amazing, more treasure war. And again, fully healed. And last boy. Babonga. Watch Easy. Out. Let's rock! I reckon Elijah's gonna heal me next turn if this doesn't kill. Oh, he won't kill because he didn't kill. Oh, a hundred damage. Where did that come from? Okay. Now I kill. Easy. Good job, Eric. Down. Proud of you. little guy. Haha! <laughs> I told you I'm a good slime, really. But things would have got sticky if you hadn't been there to keep the monsters at bay. Hmm... This place looks different to where we were before. Let's go and see if we can find a way out, shall we? Sounds good to me. By the way, this slime seems like the worst kept secret villain. That I've ever heard. But I won't be wrong. I hope I am. I'm going to add this deafness to Eric. He's earned it. And uh, we'll get the game. Go. Get out of my way. Have a quick save. And it fully heals us as well. Lovely. Each, uh, each individual character's section has been about an hour long. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're actually going to get towards the end of Eric's little story. Soon. An agility ring. Whoa. It's better than the devil's talent every way. What did he say there? Looks like we can go that way. Come on. There's no slime to lose.
You know, for a second there, I forgot how to sprint. <laughs> I was pressing every single button on the controller. Um, you're saying this way, right? Aha! Let's go. Oops. Unlock the door. Didn't know I had a key. I should go that way, right? Ooh. Well, we have to quickly check. Hmm. This way seems like too obviously the wrong way. We're not somehow doing a big circle, are we? And we're back where we started. I don't know. Well, let's go the way that we are relatively sure it is. Hyperventilate, welcome to the stream. Okay. Oh, there is a chest up there. Doesn't matter. I'm sure it's nothing great, he says, with a single tear rolling down his cheek. Okay, it feels like we're going the right way, but I really don't know. Wait a second. We're back here. I'm tripping out. Are we not going in a big circle? We did this before, but I'm sure we... Oh, jeez. I've definitely already been here, right? I've been here. Yeah, I'm going in like a big circle, aren't I? I... Yep. Okay, instead of just going around in circles then. Let's go back. I'm a little bit confused. Because I know I am going around in a circle, am I not eventually just going to head back to the cell where we started? Can I jump down there? I don't think I'm supposed to go through this door at all. I think I might have been looking the wrong way. I think the camera... Because I crawled out of that hole, right? I think I was supposed to go this way. Aha! That was almost very embarrassing. Wait. What? He wasn't underground at all. We were up in the sky the whole time? So how do we get down? Something tells me this isn't a jump we're going to survive. Look! Over there! There's a path going up to the top! <laughs> what now? Oh wow. Kneel before indignous mortal, spectral sentinel and servant of the Lord of Shadows. It is I who imprisoned you, intending to offer you up to my master. But I see that you have other ideas. You have done well to make it this far. Quite a feat for a mere human. But you will go no further! Huh? <laughs> 
Uh oh. Seize him! We cannot suffer an accomplice of the Luminary to remain at large! The time of darkness has arrived, and no light shall be allowed to return. All who oppose the Lord of Shadows will be destroyed! <laughs> Oh, I didn't see any of these guys, what the hell? Um, okay, Elijah? Okay, cool, I'm all alone. <laughs> That's not good. Let's go for a Boulderbringer against... Skelligon. Boulderbringer! And we'll go for... Mm. Big dodge. I guess we'll just keep on... We'll focus the same guy. Get him out as soon as possible. Okay. <laughs> this seems a bit tanky. This seems like a bit of a stretch. Elijah? Elijah? I haven't got any healing things. Elijah? Is that game over? Oh, the game wanted me to lose, okay. Oh, looks like the end of the road. Damn it! If only there was some way out! There is one way. Elijah. Huh? huh? Elijah? Is that you? Where are you? It is me, but also not me. Ooh. You have known me for longer than you think. One day, you shall meet the Luminary somewhere deep underground. And if you help him, you shall be forgiven. You know those words, don't you? Wait, that's... I can lend you the power to escape your predicament. A great power. But a power you may use just this once. And in return, I will have to take from you that which you treasure most. So tell me, what might that be? His sister? I don't know. His friends. Of course, your memories of your brothers and sisters in arms. Precious treasures indeed, but I will have to strip you of them. There is no other way. Do what you have to do. I need that power. Memories aren't much good to me dead. Better to live and make new ones. I won't let this end here. I can't. Then the power is yours. Huh? Oh. <sighs> <laughs> he has accepted his fate at last. Seize him! <laughs> I'm not done. He's gonna get a glowing second dagger. That's my prediction. Not by a long shot. And he's gonna whiz around and kill everyone. Ah! <laughs> oh, I was wrong. Never mind. Dear God, Eric is pepped up. Is Eric the Luminary? Jesus. It seems there is fight in him yet. Very well. 
I shall finish the job myself! <sighs> This is going to be the boss fight, and then we're not going to see Eric again. That's what I think. And he'll have no memories of us. It's let's so go. sad. Um, let's go. Let's start with the boulder ringer. Whoa. Okay, I heal every turn, which is good, but whoa. Oh! Oh! Something tells me the game didn't want me to die twice. The mysterious force returns the party to the forgotten treasure trove of the Rock of Wrong. Oh no! Oh no! Where am I? Bloody hell! Okay. I don't think we're too far away from when we just fought those guys, but that's a tough fight. I literally did nothing wrong. It was the second turn. I couldn't have healed. That's rough. Wait. What? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> really? You're going to make me do the fight that I need? Okay. <laughs> I mean, hey, we'll give ourselves a little bit of a chance. Bringer. Maybe we'll do it. Ow. Yeah. I don't think we're going to do it, guys. Oh no! Foolish human! Let's go! <sighs> okay, I'm worried. I am worried. Um. God, what do I do? God, what if he does the same thing again? Oh no! What am I supposed to do here? It was the exact same fight. He hits me with a double attack and then he just hits me twice in a row and there's nothing I can do. If I had full health, for sure, I could survive it, but I don't have any items. What am I? <laughs> uh, I could change weapon to the dagger. I think we have to, right? If we change to the dagger, then we uh, paralyze our normal attacks. And then if we paralyze the guy. We'll have a better chance. And also we can do moves like sleep a hit. If we can send it to sleep, maybe we'll have a better chance. If we fail again as quickly as we just did, I'm not sure what to do. We might have to just stay in this cave for a long time and, and grind until Eric levels up and then try again then. But this doesn't seem like an issue that could be solved with one level up. Wait. A little bit scary. What? Nice. A sign of things to come.
I mean, we're already seeing right now. He seems stronger doing this than he did before. We almost won that whole fight. A fight that we're supposed to lose. So, maybe. Foolish human. I guess we'll find out. Let's go. Good start. Didn't paralyze him though, or send him to sleep. Sleeper hit. Didn't work again. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> I am at a loss. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh dear, oh dear, we are in trouble, aren't we? Oh me, oh my. Um No, I don't want to save it. No, no, no. Um I would like to do the one that tells me how long until I level up. That's not okay, that's one fight. Okay. So maybe, just maybe. We level up once, maybe we can teach some skills. Might as well grab all this treasure. Water. <laughs> Mr. Stairs, because I'm really smart. Yeah. Um. Night, night. Okay, good. No, yeah, I was, I was hoping to fight three of them. Yep. Okay. Normal attack should be enough to kill these guys. Get out of here. Oh my god. I don't know how much damage before. Night, night. If Elijah was with me in that fight, maybe I'd win. Okay. Good. Oh. One fight is nowhere near enough to level me up. Okay. Disturbing turban. Uh... Enabling crooks and criminals to blend it. Oh, okay, no. Doesn't do anything fancy, but it gives me more armor. Alright, fighting those guys is not gonna level me up. We're just gonna try again. And maybe that's really stupid. Maybe I should not try again. Maybe I should go backwards from the save point and fight a bunch of monsters. And grind experience. Wait. But that sounds like a long what? trudge. And I don't want to do that. So we're going to hope that we get lucky. I think we can actually win this fight. If we send this guy to sleep. Night. Never mind. I did not know that Skelagon would be just as strong. do this to be fair as long as he doesn't do that fire breath attack oh a chance oh my god 
I think we've done it. Night, night. Does that change anything? And stay down. Do we get a different cutscene? We do get a level nice. up. And we will use the skill points now. Any little helps. Um, so we've got dodge chance plus 2%. Deafness plus 10. Dodge chance plus 3%. Cobra strike. Dual wielding. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I can't afford it. Flip. It's gotta be it's gotta be dodge chance then, right? Well that dual wielding. Oh my. <laughs> Same cutscene, yeah. Okay. A shame. Foolish human. Let's go. Come on. I've got a new hat and I'm ready for our fight. Flip. I've got way more health than I had before. A chance. Hmm. You want some? Damn it. I, I really need this guy to fall asleep right now. Night, night. Damn it. Ah, crap. Oh. He's too busy laughing at me. Fall asleep. Damn it. Come on, fall asleep. Night, night. Damn it. Please don't do a second attack. Uh, okay. Fall asleep. Night, night. Damn it. He's laughing. Oh my god. Go away. Damn it. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh. You absolute swine. Oh my goodness. That is so unlucky. Or. Not unlucky at all. And he can't be put to sleep. Ah, <laughs> oh, flip! Now I don't know what to do. Because we got close there, I feel like we should try again. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Oh, I don't know what to do! Oh no! If we have that exact same luck, except we use the sword, which attacks twice every turn, then we've got this. Because <laughs> we don't need to win the first fight. Wait. Ugh. If I get that exact same luck with the Let's sword, then we win. I don't mind losing this fight. Just knock me out, guys. As quick as you can. Because with the sword, we do twice as much damage. Please finish me. Okay, good. Okay, come on. Maybe one level up and one new hat is an is all I needed. Foolish human. Okay. Let's go. Now, all I can really do is normal attacks. I could do a boulder bringer to do more Yeah, let's do it. It's gonna be more damage each turn on average. Right. Loads of health. Love that. At least he's predictable. Please don't kill me. 
If I get hit by a random critical hit, I'll be fuming. And then laugh. He's done 151 damage and I've got 151 HP left. That is so unlucky. That's crazy. Oh, God. It's not worth doing Rubble Rouser. I'm wasting one turn to do 50 damage per turn and it lasts for about two turns. Where I could just attack on that missed turn and do an extra 200 damage, you know? It's doable with a bit of good RNG, exactly. I just hope it doesn't take too many more attempts to get that good RNG. I wish we could skip through this fight. Let's do this. So this fight is just a little bit too difficult that I can't do it. But just not difficult enough that it seems doable. Finish me! Finish me! Okay, let's go. This is the time. This is the attempt. <laughs> It's going to take way too long to level up. Human. So if it doesn't work now, then I don't know what to do. Let's do Come on. This. Normal attacks only. Not bad health. Been better. Mana sucks. Feel a bit weak. But I should survive this. Health is still a bit too low for my liking. Thank you. That's what I wanted last time, the chuckle. And that's it. Nice. Come on, one more turn maybe? A normal attack, I'll survive. Come on. Yes! 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 No, not now, damn it. I said I'm not done. <laughs> Excellent, Kerr. I shall lay your broken carcass at the feet of my master. Sister? Mother? Brother? You knew me as the seer, as do all the people of your world. I once told you a tale of your destiny, and I had hoped I might guide you to it. But even my power has its limits. Forgive me. the memories you don't need to do this Sia just let me keep my memories my boy Colo 
my friends. This is probably the saddest thing that's happened so far in the entire game. Remember, where there is life, there is hope. Farewell. My son. No? Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe, you know. What a blooming palaver. Oh, there's nothing like a massive great tree falling out of the sky to mess things up good and proper. Oh, talk about the long way round. Huh? Crikey, that bloke don't look too steady on his feet. You all right, mate? I... I don't know. I don't even know who I am. All I know is, I was on a journey with someone, but who? Ooh. Suit yourself. If he knows he was on a journey, maybe he'll uh, he'll remember Kolo when he sees him. I don't know. But that is the end of Eric's little adventure. Place your bets now. Who's going to be next? I think it's going to be Serena. Lord Robert and the Kingdom of Dreams. Mm. Oh, Rab. Huh? Oh. Oh. <sighs> Who, where am I? How did I get here? I can't remember a thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Jinx! Uh, is that... No, it can't be. This is a woman from his magazine. <gasps> oh, there it is. <laughs> It's her, fresh from the pages of the Ogler's Digest, and large as life. I have not the first clue what's going on around these parts, but I reckon I could do worse than ask a lassie here. Well, Rab, what are you waiting for? Shall no hang around forever while you pluck up what little courage you have left? Yoo-hoo! Uh, have you a moment to spare for a sweet, harmless old man, Hen? <sighs> oh no, he's a creepy old man. He's the guy in the pub that keeps hitting on the bartender. Hey! You get back here! <laughs> hey. <sighs> hey? What just happened? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <gasps> this King Robert. Be. But but it is. It's Dundrasil, just as it once was. Rab used to be king of Dundrasil. I completely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Looking sharp, Your Majesty. <gasps> oh. Ah, oh, my, my old robes. But, but how? What in the world's going on? Would you care to enlighten me, lassie? <laughs> Walk this way. That was supposed to be like a sexy walk, but it looked like she had a limp. My bunny-eared pal headed off in the direction of the throne room. Assuming this is the real Dundrasil castle, that is. It's a good place as any to head for, I suppose. I'll see what the folks on the way have to say for themselves. What's the matter, your majesty? You look like you've seen a ghost. Anyway, shouldn't you be heading for the throne room? 
You have an important audience, as I understand it. If you're late, the chief minister will have your guts for garters. That was me trying to do a Scottish accent, of which I won't try again. I thought this was cola. Yeah, Sir Erwin, for sure. Maybe uh, there'll be like a, a young girl here and that'll be my daughter. A.K.A. Colo's mother. Give it a save, why not, while we're here. I wonder if they'll put Veronica and Serena together during their moment. Oh. One of the ministers was looking for you yeah, should be in the throne room. I presume the throne room is this way. Ooh. I've been looking for you everywhere. You must remember me telling you that you had an important audience scheduled. It's almost time. Hurry to your throne and prepare yourself. Sorry. <laughs> So there's a queen's throne. <gasps> but I trust you were well, father. My mother. I mean, my daughter. Eleanor, Erwin, it, it really is you, and and you're young again. <laughs> What's going on? Is that Colo's father? Uh, Your Majesty, please forgive my insolence in seeking a personal audience with you today. I come before you not as the head of the princess's honor guard, but as my own man. What? I mean, um, very well. State your business. Uh, well, uh, you see, the. Um, the, the, the thing is, I, uh, I, uh, well, um, um, uh, <laughs> I wish to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. <gasps> but you are not a prince. Erwin. And though I am but a soldier, and all too aware of my own lowly position, nevertheless, I must persist. For there is one thing of which I am certain. My sword arm is steadfast, and my heart unwavering. There is no man alive who will love, honor, and protect your daughter as I can. I mean, Rab knows what happens, right? He knows the future. By which I mean the present day. So he already knows who Kolo's father is, whether or not it is Erwin. Your Majesty, I place my fate in your hands. Will you allow me to continue to serve and protect your daughter? Not as the head of her honor guard, but as her dutiful and loving husband. Yes. He looks like a good man. Uh, I can hardly turn you down after that little performance, can I, laddie? And to tell you the truth, I always had an inkling you two might one day be wed. Oh, father. It's up to you now, Erwin. Don't disappoint me, you hear? Thank you, your majesty. Thank you. Where do you spring from, lassie? And where's everybody gone? <laughs> Did you enjoy your little trip down memory lane? Well, it's not over yet. There she goes, limping away. 
Alright, where's she gone? This guy will know. You're looking a wee bit befuddled, if you didn't mind me saying so. Queen Illinois and King Erwin lost forevermore? Oh, come on now. It's the nerves talking, that's all. Speaking of nerves, the father-to-be seems to be a little more jumpy himself. He went flying out of the throne room not too long ago. Like a man possessed. So I presume he's gone this way. Oh, there he is. Oh, we've fast-forwarded in time. He's already King Erwin. I am no longer king. Lord Robert, I was hoping I might have the chance to speak with you about something before the child was born. Well now, so it's the day of my grandson's birth. Um, saying something you wanted to discuss? Uh, I is the child's name. I've been having trouble thinking of anything suitable. I like the name Cola. So much trouble that it's been distracting me from everything else, I'm, I'm honest. I was wondering what you might see your way to reprising a role as... Wait, what? No? Alright, fine. I'll be king again. While well, you think of a name. There's two things that people want to talk to me about. The first is something you're more than used to, receiving those who seek a royal audience and giving them counsel. The second is to make the rounds of the castle to assist anyone who needs your aid. I know what it's like to be king. I've been king for years. Once you've taken care of today's business, please come and find me. see what people have got to say then. Oh, um, oh okay, sweet. All I've got to do is sit down in my seat and then whoever wants an audience will come to me. It's him! It's Snorri! Travel all the way from Sniffleheim. Um... He speaks on behalf of the ruler of his land. He would very much like to seek the counsel of the crown of Dendrasil, paragon of peace and prosperity. Go on. A royal treasure. It's going to be the orb. Yeah, the blue orb. Four likely culprits. Sadly, there is insufficient evidence to conclusively identify the thief, and so we find ourselves at an impasse. Okay, tell me about the suspects. Uh, what's the main reason someone would want to steal money? Uh, for the money? Or still steal the blue orb for the money, rather. What kind of person would have done it? A master of lockpicking? Probably. Okay, um, sure. What's the there? The most blah, 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 blah. Identify them, interrogate them, and say, You did it for the money! And watch their face crack. Yep, sure. Then my final judgement. Go on, get out of here. Hurry's home, looking very pleased. Yep, next matter. The next problem requiring my attention is going to be... The Sultan of Galapolis salutes the mighty kingdom of Dundrasil and all its people, and sends this, a missive penned by the most exalted hand. Your Majesty, I trust that this message finds you well. Word of the continued triumphs of glories in your kingdom reaches us on a daily basis. In truth, I write seeking your counsel for this very reason. As you may know, the Sultanate has suffered a prolonged heatwave. The land is parched, and we fear for, your, for this year's harvest. As ruler of a realm of plenty, I beseech you, share us with your secrets of your prosperity, that we might avert disaster. I await your reply by return of Ryder, your humble servant, the Sultan of Galopolis. Okay. So we need to answer how he's going to fix his crop. Drought prevention advice, eh? Can't say it's a problem we've ever faced. If I'm to write a reply, I'll need to decide on the tone of the letter first. Let's go gracious. Weigh up the options. Offer up conventional wisdom. Think outside the box. Okay. 
My dear Sultan, I understand your kingdom is suffering a bout of searingly hot weather. No doubt sales of ice cream and swimsuits are going through the roof. Of course, I do not wish to make light of your predicament. I simply wish to show you that by changing the way you think about something, you can turn a crisis into an opportunity. But I suggest that you inspire your people to think of a radical new way of cooling down. Leave it to their imaginations and see what they come up with. Hopefully it will involve swimsuits. And lots of them! Yo, oh, I love swimsuits! And send me pictures of all the ladies! Yes, please, ooh, and then put it in a magazine. I'm happy for you to write that down and send it to the Sultan. Next visitor. I wonder what any of the, if any of these choices matter. Because this is in the past, and it's also a dream. There are pugilistic tournaments held regularly in the town of Octagonia. There is no shortage of young hopefuls keen to represent Dundrasil. Ah, these are the three contendent candidates from Dundrasil to fight. Who better than a fighting man like yourself to assess their potential? So I've got to pick one. This fellow is blessed with the rarest of fighting talents, luck. He's been through all of his qualifying bouts without conceding a round. I'm afraid I'm not exactly brimming with the confidence, Your Majesty. But if you pick me, I'll cross my fingers really, really hard and hope for the best. So come on, what do you say? I don't blame you, to be honest. Okay, brute strength. He can trick seal with his bare hands. You won't regret it. My opponents will, though. Ha -ha. So, we're good to go. And we've also got a big bear. Without shriveling sure seal, compassion for his fellow fighter and animal will stop at nothing to achieve victory. I can't bear to th some of the things people say about me, you know? I'm not that bad, honestly. So, are you going to choose me or what? Okay. Team. Chat. Help me pick. Do we pick the lucky guy who's not very really confident? The extremely confident brute force man or a bear to uh, represent the nation of Dundrasil in the local pugilistic tournaments. I see votes for the bear. We're going for the bear. Go on. Just wait till I tell the cubs. He's slobbering on my head. Are you certain you wish to put a forward an animal without a shred of mercy to represent your kingdom? Sounds good. I guarantee we'll have to go through another day of kingly duties and we'll learn all the repercussions of our choices. Uh, there may be troubled souls elsewhere in the castle. Okay, I'll take a little stroll and find them. Ooh, that's how he runs everywhere. He's always in a panic. Ooh, I'm gonna tell the kingdom something. Ooh. Gang, this is where we're gonna end our episode. We are an hour in. And as much as I am looking forward to see to seeing what happens in the next part of Rab's mini adventure we are going to have to wait until later ciao for now see you later